another larger lamp. This one was sold on eBay as 24 watts. And it's warm white, and I'll just plug it in. Here's the power meter. And the 24 watt lamp looks quite bright and draws 12.3 watts, so not really 24 watts after all. Um, interestingly, this, uh, I, I'm quite happy at that because it's very bright and it's going to keep it run cooler at that. But um, it's interesting that this has got aluminium fins on the inside of this uh, plastic casing. So let's, um, let's open it up, shall we? At that power, I'm guessing it's not a capacitive dropper, it's probably going to be a little switch mode power supply. So, is that going to come off? Oh, okay, that unscrews. Oh, and then that falls out. Nice heat sink and a little switch mode power supply at the back. Let's uh, unwrap that and see if we can just. I can always. Uh, actually, I might just cut the wires in that. Although I'm kind of loath to start ripping this lamp to bits. Although, having said that, that's why I bought it. Let's see if I can take the tape off at first. Ach, no, you know what? Let's cut the wires and bring it right out. You can always do some micro joining later on and uh, get that back in. There we go. So, um. God, that tape is really. I don't think. It's certainly not Captain tape, it's just generic sticky tape, I think. We're going to have to get the knife into this. Short out that capacitor, just in case it's got any nasty surprises. So it looks like a fairly typical power supply topology. It's got a chip in there. Now the chip is recessed down between other components, so I may not be able to actually um, read that, so, but I'll give that a go. Or I may not be able to read it because it's not got a number on it. Uh, I don't think it's got a number on it. Oh, how annoying. No, it's not got a number on it. Yeah. No, it's not even laser uh, in engraved, it just seems to be blank. But uh, it will be a typical uh, switch mode driver chip. I see some characteristic um, things that this Oh, actually, you know what? This might be another of the buck regulator type things, not 100% sure. Because I was expecting a couple of windings uh, on the primary of this for that chip, but it looks as though this transformer may not have that many connections. So it may actually just be a buck regulator. Which means that the output of that, uh, let's uh, just check that. It may not be the case, it may not have a direct connection right through. Not that it's exposed, so it doesn't really matter. But um, on these uh, buck type regulators, you, get a, you tend to get a connection directly through to the, this side of the circuitry. It tends to be referenced. Yeah, it is referenced direct to the main side. It's not isolated. So it is a buck regulator, I guess, then. The heatsink is, um, I don't see any thermal paste squishing out the sides of this, so I'm guessing it's not actually um, got thermal paste on it at all. That's, uh, I don't think that's 100% necessary, but um, it would probably have helped. Just take the heat away from this uh, aluminium. No, it's not got any 
um, it's not got any heat sink compound on it at all. Maybe they did that because, um, it, you know, it doesn't really matter where you put it, it's never really going to 100% spread over the bottom of that because it is so thinned. So it's an interesting enough lamp. I'm not sure how hot it gets in normal operation, and maybe I'll uh, put a thermocouple on it and uh, check that out. I'm really sure. Uh, yeah, so an aluminium substrate board, the heat sink, and then just a buck regulator in the back, and then all oh, technically speaking, you could poke your fingers in onto the heat sink. But uh, having said that, you know that that should be it should be isolated. It sh it's got this layer of the fiberglass on this side. Oh, there's an interesting thing. The the LEDs, uh, how many LEDs are there? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30, 33, 34, 35, 36. And they're wired as parallel pairs. So that's effectively 18 times 3. Is there going to be the voltage across that? Yeah, it's coming at the usual 50 volts of, sort of area. And it was about 12 watts. So um, 12 watts divided by 50 volts. The current is going to be around about 240, but divided by 2 because there's pairs of LEDs in parallel. So it's going to be about 120 milliamps per LED, which is pretty typical, I suppose, that LED. Yeah, it's an interesting lamp. It's quite nice. I may just stick that back together because it's quite a nice lamp indeed.